Good morning everybody. I am making coffee right here and I'm gonna introduce this video now. So today I'm doing something I haven't done on my channel. I am sharing a day in my life in between the renovations. Uh, what am I doing? Apparently rumor has it, and I do see it, <laughs> a tree has fallen onto my fence across the river. So I need to go look at that later. Time for that first sip. It's perfect. Okay, let's talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Book of the Month. Book of the Month is an online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new, emerging, and popular authors and help readers discover books that they will love. The way it works is that their team vets hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles. This month, they sent me All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham and The Light Pirate by Lily Brooks Dalton. This December, they're running a special deal where you can get your first book for just $5 if you use the code WONDER. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Super grateful to have them as a sponsor this year. Um, I feel like we made some good videos together. <laughs> if you want to check them out, you can use my discount code, which is linked right below in the description. Uh, but there you go. There you have it. Now, we need to tidy this desk. I'm in the middle of three big projects. And usually I keep my desk really tidy. I didn't used to, but now that I have kind of the space where it's not the only table <laughs> that I have access to, I usually keep it really tidy. But like I said, three projects. I'm in the middle of a really big crafting project and I can't really talk about it in case the person who I'm making for watches this video. But there's stuff everywhere for it. Yesterday I tried putting everything away in it, some tote bags um, just to at least tuck it away while I'm working on other stuff but wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm also working on- this is very funny. <laughs> I'm working on another video um, that has miniatures in it. So there's also just miniature furniture everywhere which is very cute clutter but it is still clutter. Look at this. A tiny MacBook. <laughs> or I guess it's an iMac. Apologies, apologies. What's the third project? Oh, yeah. The third thing I'm doing is I'm cataloging my entire library. Did you just notice that cover slip off? Yeah, that's right. This book isn't being held together by anything. The glue definitely gave up and it was not my fault. It's just an old copy. Um, but anywho, there's now books everywhere and it's really good though. Like I've been meaning to catalog my library for ages. Let me show you my spreadsheet. This chart, perhaps the most important one, shows books that I've read in yellow versus the ones that are unread in more of an orangey. So far this is showing that I've read a quarter of my shelves but I have to go ahead and the last like 
50 I did re read, I just haven't added that data yet, so the numbers are about to jump up. <laughs> the point is, it's a mess, and I'm kind of going crazy with the mess. After tidying up my office, I needed to do some house projects. I needed to do some caulking upstairs in my hallway to get ready to paint up there. So I went looking for some, realized I didn't have any, and got dressed to go to the hardware store. Which actually is a very realistic portrayal of a day, because I go to the hardware store a lot. <laughs> The next big part of my work day was getting ready to film a video. I had to rearrange my office a bit for this specific video and then I sat down to start shooting it. Shooting in the winter I find pretty difficult because there's such a limited window of light, but it worked out and afterwards as a little bit of a reprieve and break. I went outside to feed the ducks. <laughs> very happy um, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna investigate this tree that has fallen it sure has it sure has fallen there is the edge of my house and there's this little tree this is a little river that runs on my property and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of trees in and around it. And I guess this guy gave up. Okay, I have moved it fully up. Now it's kind of part of the fence. Okay, wood retrieved. Now I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs> um, it'll dry out and then we can cut it up for firewood.
Hello everyone. So it's uh it's 4 30 p.m. and the sun's gone. It's dark. It's winter in Canada. For the next many hours, I'm going to be sitting here editing uh, a lot of the stuff that I filmed earlier today. I currently have a really big crunch. Like there's this there's a bunch of projects I need to finish before the holidays. This is the first year ever that I am going to take like almost two weeks for Christmas truly and officially off. I've never in my life, except for I think once when I was finishing my master's project, other than that one time I have <laughs> never put like an out of office on my email. I just check it all the time. And so I'm always kind of in work and I'm always doing something, but I'm going to actually not work over Christmas for the like last week of the year and the first week of next year. I'm gonna just do crafts and relax and read and I'm so looking forward to it. I feel like I really need it. And however, I've made some commitments. I've told people I'll do this video and that thing and so I have to do my work. But I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. I've been really tired lately. I'm feeling really exhausted. I think also just because there, there's like such a ramp up of activity during the like holidays where everyone's like doing little festivals and events and we've got to go to this thing and this thing and visit this person. So it's just been so busy. <laughs> One thing I will say, and this is genuinely just because I'm grateful. I just got this new computer like two weeks ago three weeks ago, maybe it arrived. And this would not have been possible without my patrons. And it has made this last month of like really busy time so much better. It's been such a joy after living, like the last time I had a desktop was like, how old am I? It's like 12 years ago. Good Lord. Another thing I will say is that today, this video that I've been making, the one that you've watched, I filmed most of it on this new camera that I got. And I don't think I like it. I really want to be doing stuff that doesn't require my giant camera that I use and isn't like the flimsy quality of my um, cell phone, my, uh, my phone, my cell phone, my, my, my iPhone. <laughs> and so I picked this up and I've shot some shots on it today. And first of all, I am so frustrated because it, I guess default came with a beauty filter turned on. And so in many of the shots, like I, I was editing it, um, in a lot of these shots, there's like a filter over my face. And because I've never used this camera, I didn't know, but now here I am like reviewing the, and I was looking at the footage and I was like, why does my face look weird? Like it does not look high quality. This does not look 4K, I thought to myself. And I was looking into like different things and it was like, yeah, there's a beauty filter. That's like one of the positives. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm pretty annoyed because it filmed it that way. So I can't remove it in post. Anyways, <laughs> I think I'm gonna return it. I like packed it all back up nice and perfect. Um, I've been treating it with a lot of care because this is the first time I filmed with it. And of course I was like, maybe I'm gonna have to return it. We're gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna edit for a while. I have a video I have to fully edit today. It's only version one of it. So the rough draft version. So thankfully it will be rough. If there's one thing it will be, it is rough. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit.